you have got a physical symptom of, of a, a very frequent intermittent um, pain from the top of my skull down through the back of uh, my shoulders. Right. And how long have you had that? Uh, since the year 2000, when I um, was hit in the back of the head with a snowboard with a teenager attached to it. Mm -hmm. So you were snowboarding too, or were you in the snow? I was skiing. I was, skiing. Okay. I was in the snow, and I had stopped mm -hmm. on the slope to uh, look at it. Mm -hmm. And in, in some ways, that's the last thing I remember for a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, so t year 2000? Yes. So even though I've got this pain in my the top of my head down to my neck, um, shoulders. shoulders yeah. Okay. Even though I have this pain from the top of my head to um, mid shoulders that I received in two thousand. That I received in two thousand. When I had a snowboard hit me in the back of the head. It's when I had a a, a child on a snowboard hit me in the back of the head. Yeah. And I don't remember much after that. I don't remember too much after that. I accept myself. I accept myself. And this pain. And this pain. And I want to release it. And I want to release it. Okay. All the memories in my head. All the memories in my head. Remembering that snowboard. Remembering that snowboard. With the teenager attached to it. With that teenager attached to it. Smashing into the back of my head. Smashing into the back of my head. When I stopped on the slope. When I stopped on the slope. To have a look at it. To have a look at it. I can still feel all that pain in the back of my head. I can still feel all that pain in the back of my head. I feel it regularly. I feel it regularly. From the top of my head all the way down to the mid shoulders. From the top of my head all the way down to the mid shoulders. And I want to release it. And I want to release it. Even though I'm not sure how yet. Even though I'm not sure how yet. Okay, so you said before that um, a, a doctor of some sort has told you that there's scar tissue there or something? Yes. Um, when, uh, when the pain did not go away, I was told that um, because they had to uh, give me several stitches in, in the emergency room in a small town, right? Um, and they had to pull my skin, you know, in odd ways to get the stitching. And because there was a, a definite fracture in there, um, there's calcification and, you know, just enough extra thickness to where um, it just pulls on everything. It's, it's, not, it's not the same shape it should be. Okay. So even though my head's not the same shape it should be? <laughs> even though my head is not the same shape it should be. And when it happened... And when it happened, I got stitched up in a small town. I got stitched up in a small town. I had to pull my skin in all directions. I had to pull my skin in all directions. And now there might be calcification there. And now there might be calcification there. And the doctors told me that's why I'm getting pain. And the doctors told me that's why I'm getting pain. And they must be right because they're doctors. They must be right, they're doctors. <laughs> and it explains why I'm getting the pain. It, it explains why I'm getting pain. Mm -hmm. I accept myself. I accept myself. And everything they told me. And everything they told me. Whether it's the truth or not. Whether it's the truth or not. My body heard it as the truth. My body heard it as the truth. Maybe it's the truth. Maybe it's the truth. Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's something else. Whatever it is, I want to release it. Whatever it is, I want to release it. That feeling of calcification. That feeling of calcification. That feeling when they were stitching me up. That feeling when they were stitching me up. Pulling my skin in all directions. Pulling my skin in all directions. I had a crack in my skull. I had a crack in my skull. And maybe as it healed it got calcification. And maybe as it healed it got calcifications. But maybe there's also emotional content there. Maybe there's also emotional content there. Emotional scarring. Emotional scarring. Maybe what sort of emotions? Maybe. How did you feel about the teenager? Uh, a lot. More than a little anger. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yep, 
they might be anger trapped in there my skull. might be anger trapped in my skull. <laughs> <laughs> anger at that teenager. Anger at that teenager. Who smashed into the back of my head. Who smashed into the back of my head. I had stopped on the slopes. I had stopped on the slopes. To have a look. To have a look. And he smashed into the back of me. And he smashed into the back of me. I'm really angry at him. I am really angry at him. It really hurt. It really hurt. I'm really angry at him. I, I am still really angry at him. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Even though I've got all this anger trapped in the back of my head. Even though I have all this anger trapped in the back of my head. From the top of the head all the way down to my mid-shoulders. From the top of my head all the way down to my mid-shoulders. No wonder I get headaches. No wonder I get headaches. With all this anger trapped there. With all this anger trapped there. I accept myself. I accept myself. And my anger. And my anger. And I want to release it. And I want to release it. It doesn't serve me to hold on to it. It does not serve me to hold on to it. It's not even mine. It's not even mine. I want to release it. I want to release it. All the anger in the back of my head. All the anger in the back of my head. When I cracked my head. When I cracked my head. I stopped on the slopes. I stopped on the slopes. And this teenager slammed into the back of me. And this teenager slapped him, slammed into the back of me. Wasn't he watching where he was going? He was not watching where he was going. I'm really angry. I'm really angry. I was in a spot that is a safe place to spot to stop. Mm -hmm. I thought I was in a safe place. To I stop. thought I was in a safe place. I was. When you're skiing, there are certain places that are legal to stop so mm -hmm. others can see you mm -hmm. and adjust. And I was in mm -hmm. such a place. Yeah, I was in one of those places. I was in one of those places. I should have been safe. I should have been safe. It was supposed to be a safe place. It was supposed to be a safe place. I thought it was a safe place. I thought it was a safe place. Until he hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> Until he hit me in the back of the head. He was supposed to be able to see me there. He was supposed to be able to see me there. What was he doing? What was he doing? He wasn't looking where he was going. He was not looking where he was going. And I'm really angry at him. Um, yeah, I'm angry. All that anger in the back of my head. All of that anger in the back of my head. All the anger, all my anger at the people who made that place safe. <laughs> all my anger at the people who made that place safe. <laughs> they didn't make it safe enough. They did not make it safe enough. It wasn't safe. It wasn't safe. If it had been safe, nobody would have smashed into the back of me. If it hadn't been safe, if it had been safe, no one would have smashed into the back of me. All my anger. All my anger. Trapped in the back of my head. Trapped in the back of my head. So if that anger had a shape, what would it be? If that anger had a shape, what would it be? Um, ooh. Sort of a fuzzy triangular blob. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If it was an object, what would it be? Oh man, like a dead fir tree. Mm. This dead fir tree in the back of my head. <laughs> <laughs> this dead fir tree in the back of my head. I've got a dead fir tree in the back of my head. I've got a dead fir tree in the back of my head. A fuzzy triangular shape of pain. A fuzzy triangular shape of pain. A dead fir tree in the back of my head. A dead fir tree in the back of my head. And I want to get it out. I want you to get it out. <laughs> All this anger. All this anger. This dead fir tree in the back of my head. This dead fir tree in the back of my head. So is there emotion coming up with it? Um, What's a dead fir tree coming up for you? Um, I'm wondering if I, if it wasn't something that I saw. See, of, of course, well, he had lifted, you know, it's a fairly steep slope, I heard him scream, you know, because he saw that he was going to hit me and there was nothing he could do. I do know in my conscious mind, of course, he did not intend to do this. Mm. This, it, I, He may be an alcoholic right now as a result, I, I you know, but the, I may have seen a fir tree as we were, we were tangled together and flying through the air and my poles kept hitting my face on the way down. I couldn't get them off of my wrists and he was attached to me 
and screaming, and probably I saw it. Mm -hmm. A dead fir tree. Mm -hmm. It's probably one of the few things I could see while we were, and it was one of those very sunny days, you know, really sunny. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah. Let's do that. Even though we were attached falling through the air. Even though we were attached falling through the air. And I can still hear him scream. I can still hear him scream. We were both helpless. We were both helpless. He must have seen me at the last minute and screamed. He must have seen me at the last moment and screamed. And he couldn't stop hitting me. He couldn't stop hitting me. And my poles kept hitting me. And my poles kept hitting me. And maybe I saw a dead fir tree on the way. Maybe I saw a dead fir tree on the way. All the fear, all the helplessness. All the fear, all the helplessness. And I heard him screaming. And I heard him screaming. All trapped in the back of my head. All trapped in the back of my head. I want to release it and let it go. I want to release it and let it go. Falling through the air. Falling through the air. It was a bright, sunny, clear day. It was a bright, sunny, clear day. Maybe I saw a dead fir tree. Maybe I saw a dead fir tree. All those emotions in the back of my head. <laughs> All those emotions in the back of my head. That triangular dead fir tree shape. That triangular fir tree shape. Dead pine needles. Dead pine needles in the back of my head. Dead pine needles in the back of my head. No wonder my hair has never been the same. <laughs> <laughs> All those dead pine needles in the back of my head. All those dead pine needles in the back of my head. I want to take them out. I want to take them out. Along with all the fear. Along with all the fear. The anger. The anger. The helplessness. The helplessness. Hearing him screaming. Hearing him screaming. Feeling the helplessness together. Feeling the helplessness together. I never thought of that. Screaming. Screaming. Out of control. Out of control. All the pain in the back of my head. All the pain in the back of my head. All the fear in that small town stitching me up. All the fear in that small town stitching me up. What if they do it wrong? What if they do? I don't think I thought of that. What if they do it wrong? It's just a small town. It's just a small town. It took something to pull my skin together. It took something to pull my skin together. All the fears. All the fears. The pine needles. The pine needles. Pulling them out one by one. Pulling them out one by one. Pulling out all the helplessness. Pulling out all the helplessness. All the anger. All the anger. He's screaming. He's screaming. Our fears together falling through the air. Our fears together falling through the air. My poles hitting me. My poles hitting me. Couldn't get them off my wrist. Couldn't get them off my wrist. All the fear. All the fear. Trapped in the back of my head. Trapped in the back of my head. Releasing it and letting it go. Releasing it and letting it go. Maybe there's not calcification. Maybe there's just emotional crap there. Maybe there's not calcification. Maybe there's just emotional crap there. That I'm dissolving. That I'm dissolving. Dissolving it all away. Dissolving it all away. All the emotional scars. All the emotional scars. How's that feel? Um, it, it, it feels good. Um, I, I've had many people tell me th things like to, to be more aggressive, you know, make, you should have grabbed the kid and got his parents' phone numbers and sued him and, and you know, there was, there was blood all <laughs> over the slope. And so, that scared everybody else. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Okay, I can remember seeing all the blood. I can all remember the seeing all the blood all, all down the slope. slope. Yeah, that scared everyone. It scared everyone. Heads bleed very well. They heads bleed very well. It wasn't. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I wasn't as scared as they were. I think. Mm -hmm. I wasn't as scared as they were. I wasn't as scared as they were. But maybe I got scared. But maybe I got scared mm -hmm. by seeing the fear on their faces. By seeing the fear on their faces. And all the blood in the snow. And all the blood in the snow. I accept myself. I accept myself. And all their fear. And all their fear. And all their fear that I took on. And all their fear that I took on. Through my eyes. Through my eyes. Seeing them scared. Seeing them scared. And seeing all the blood. And seeing all the blood. I accept myself. I 
accept myself and release it and release it from my eyes, from my eyes and from the back of my head and from the back of my head. It looked a lot worse than it was. It looked a lot worse than it was. It looked like someone had been murdered. <laughs> <laughs> it looked like I'd murdered a teenager who, who just hit me in the back of the head. <laughs> People said I should have sued him. And people said I should have sued him. I should have sued his parents. I should have sued his parents. All their anger. All their anger. All the things they told me I should have done. All the things they told me I should have done. All the things I didn't do. I just wanted to get to a safe place on the slope. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to crawl over to the dead trees. I knew. You know, I, I knew that there was nothing I could do at that moment. I couldn't undo mm -hmm. what happened. And, you know, he said something and I said, you know, go to the bottom of the slope and get the ski patrol, mm -hmm. um, which I believe they all did, mm -hmm. you know, the group of teenagers. And people asked me, like, you know, why did he ski away? And I said, well, what good is a 14-year-old kid going to mm -hmm. do me? You know, like on the slope. I, mean, I told only, him to go. Yeah, yeah, I did. I, I told him, I know that I'm not going to sue this kid's parents. It's not, you know, you sign a waiver when you go skiing. Mm -hmm. um, I didn't think I was hurt that badly. And considering I wasn't, he said it looked a lot worse than it was. Mm -hmm. um, and all those people telling me what I should have done when I'm the one bleeding with a crack in my skull. Mm -hmm. My anger at them. My anger at them. You They're know. all telling me what I should have done. They're all telling me what I should have done. When I've got a crack in my head. When I've got a crack in my head. I'm angry at them. Yeah, I'm more angry at them. Yeah, I am. I'm angry at them. I'm angry at them. Being angry at me. Being angry at me. For not suing these parents. For not suing his parents. <laughs> I just, always ski with lawyers. Right? <laughs> I'm trying to stay safe. <laughs> I'm trying to stay safe. With a crack in my head. With a crack in my head. And all these people criticizing and judging. And all these people criticizing and judging me. And giving me advice. And giving me advice. Telling me what to do. Telling me what to do. They're all telling me what to do. They are all telling me what to do. I didn't remember. I want to release that. I want to release that. Them all telling me what to do. Them all telling me what to do. All my anger at them. All my anger at them. All my confusion. All my confusion. I just wanted to be safe. I just wanted to be safe. Releasing all my anger. Releasing all my anger. Hearing them telling me what to do. Hearing them telling me what to do. It's pretty funny, isn't it? I just wanted to be <laughs> telling me what to do. I just wanted to be safe. Mm -hmm. Okay, so take a deep breath, have some water. So see how there's a whole lot just in that, you know, mm -hmm. what might be what might be um, trapped in the back of your head mm -hmm. as in emotionally. And, you know, I knew on a conscious level, you know, number one, like I said, he can't really, he can't help me. What's he going to do? Right. But, and, and was I really mad at him at the moment? Not really. I mean, I, I knew that I just, I had to get to a safe place. Didn't matter what my feelings were about him. Like mm -hmm. said, the fight or flight. And I also know that the people that were saying all this stuff to me, they were obviously thinking, well, what if this had happened to me? I think they had good intentions. Yeah, they were just um, in their conscious mind. Though. And, yeah, and it's all, mm. okay, so, so, so yeah. They, yeah, they had good intentions. They had good intentions. But I just wanted to be safe. But I just wanted to be safe. And I want to send that safe feeling to the back of my head. And I want to send that safe feeling to the back of my head. All the way back down to the middle of my shoulders. All the way back down to the middle of my shoulders. Letting the back of my head know I'm safe now. Letting the back of my head know that I'm safe now. Even when I remember seeing all the blood. Even when I remember seeing all the blood. Even when I remember hearing them all telling me what to do. Even when I remember them all hearing Hearing them all tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. Releasing it and letting it go. Releasing it and letting it go. All the emotional scars. All the emotional scars. Trapped in my scar. Trapped in my scar. Releasing them and letting them go. Releasing them and letting them go. I want to feel peace. I want to feel peace. In the back of my head. In the back of my head. All the way back down my shoulders. All the way back down my shoulders. 
releasing any scars. Releasing any scars. It's safe to feel peace now. It's safe to feel peace now. It's safe to feel safe now. It's safe to feel safe now. Even when they're telling me what to do. Even when they're telling me what to do. I'm safe. I'm safe. What colour is safe for you? Hmm. Uh, like a light golden colour. Mm -hmm. Oops. Light golden colour. Sandal form. Archangel sandal form. Oh. Only two archangels, and we've had them both. <laughs> <laughs> sending this beautiful golden color, sending this beautiful golden color and energy and energy to the back of my head, to the back of my head. Everything I remember seeing, everything I remember seeing and hearing and hearing and feeling and feeling, dissolving away all my fears, dissolving away all of my fears. Everything they said, everything they said, seeing all the blood. Seeing all the blood. I'm safe and I'm okay. I'm safe and I'm okay. And my head's okay. My head is okay. Letting my scar know I'm okay. Letting my scar know that I'm okay. Letting my skull know I'm okay. Letting my skull know that I'm okay. Releasing all the emotions. Releasing all the emotions that were trapped there. That were trapped there. It's safe to have peace now. It's safe to have peace now. I'm okay. I'm okay. My skull is okay. My skull is okay. The skin over the top of my skull is okay. The skin over the top of my skull is okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. Okay, how's that feeling? Um, good, good. Um, yeah. Can you imagine it now? Is there a shape or a color or an object or anything? You know, I can see the fur, but it's more, it's an, it's an actual fur tree. Mm. It, it doesn't feel like a monster in the back of my head. It feels like a, a tree out in the forest and, mm. and, and that's okay. Mm. Good.